Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making white cheese chicken lasagna. I'm starting out here in a medium saucepan and I have two large chicken breasts and a little one that decided to hang on for the ride. And I have just enough water to cover them. So I'm going to salt and pepper this. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce my heat and simmer it for 20 minutes so our chicken's cooked. Alright, I have my lasagna on cooking over here. And my chicken's almost done. Now I'm warming up a large frying pan. This is my 22 inch one. And I'm keeping an eye on my pasta so it doesn't cook over my lasagna noodles. I'm going to put a half a, rather I'm going to put a whole stick of margarine in there for a half a cup. Turn my heat down a little bit and I'm going to melt this. And I don't want to scorch my margarine so I'm going to keep it low. You could also use butter for this if you like. Right now to this I'm going to add one medium onion and one clove of garlic that I chopped. And I'm going to continue cooking this over medium low heat so that onions and garlic are tender or translucent. Alright, my onions and garlic are nice and tender. I'm going to add in a half a cup of flour and I turn my heat down on low. And I'm going to stay with this and stir it constantly. So this flour here fries a little bit and loses its flour taste. And my lasagna is done. That took six minutes, my lasagna noodles. And my chicken's done. I have it set aside cooling a little bit for right now. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to add in two cups of chicken broth. And this is a four cup container, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, that seems good. Now I have a cup and a cup and a half of milk. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Turn my heat up a little bit and I'm going to stir this good. I'm going to add in my spices. I have a teaspoon of salt here, a teaspoon of dry basil, and a teaspoon of oregano, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and add all that in there. Give that a stir. I'm going to allow this to cook over medium low heat for a few minutes until it thickens up. Alright, my sauce is thickened. Now I have a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese here I grated. I'm going to throw in about a quarter of that in there, a quarter of a cup. And I also have some mozzarella cheese here. This is a four cup pack. I'm going to throw in two cups of that, which is half of the bag. Alright. Turn my heat off. Now I'm going to give this a stir and I'm going to take this off the heat and set it aside for just now. Alright, I took my chicken after it cooled and I diced it up into small cubes. And I have a 9 by 13 baking pan here that I sprayed some cooking spray on it so my lasagna doesn't stick. Now I'm going to start building my lasagna. This sauce that I made, I'm going to put a little bit of that down on the bottom of this pan to coat it. And as you can see, that's awful cheesy. It's draining up there. Okay, spread this around. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my pasta water into this sauce to make it a little thinner over here on the stove. And I'll be giving that a stir in a minute. All right, now I'm going to start layering my lasagna. And I cooled my lasagna so it's easy to handle. Now I'm going to put four lasagna noodles per layer. Okay, now I'm going to take some ricotta cheese. This is a 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. And I'm going to layer this out on here and spread it out. You can get in there with your hands and get messy. 
whatever works for you, this is the easiest way. All right, just spread it around there. You can also use a spatula if you like. One more over here. Okay, now I'm going to go in here with my chicken. Put a layer of chicken down. I'm going to repeat this process until I use up all of my lasagna noodles. All right, now that I have all my lasagna layered and I used up all my ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and add in the other two cups of that mozzarella cheese right on top there. It's going to be good and cheesy. All right. Now I'm going to add I have a 16 ounce pack of frozen spinach here that I thawed and drained to get all that excess water. And I'm going to add this in, just crumbling it around. All right. Now that I have that down on there, I have the rest of that mozzarella cheese, or rather that Parmesan cheese I grated. I'm going to add that on. It's a lot of cheeses to remember. A lot of stuff to remember. And I have a tablespoon of fresh parsley that I chopped. I'm going to sprinkle this on. Now I'm going to put this into a 350 degree oven for roughly about a half hour so everything's all melted and everything's good. Alright, my lasagna is done. I baked for a half hour. Let's go ahead and serve this up and see what we got. Alright, there you have it. White cheese chicken lasagna. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.